Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about the basics of molecular fingerprints, as in the theory behind them and how they are generated in practice. Molecular fingerprints are binary representation of molecular structures used in informatics and computational chemistry. These fingerprints encode information about the presence or absence of specific structural features in a molecule. Now how molecular fingerprints are generated? Let us just suppose that you have a small strings of the molecule for which you want to generate the molecular fingerprint. The first step is to represent the molecular structure in a way that can be used for fingerprint calculation. This often involves converting these small strings into molecular objects or graphs using various algorithms. Then we will identify the atom-centric features. These are characteristics associated with individual atoms in the molecule such as atom type, presence of functional groups, or hybridization state. Once we have identified the atom-centric features, the next step is fragmentation. Fragment a molecule into smaller substructures or fragments. These fragments can be as simple as individual atoms or more complex representing chemical substructures like functional groups or rings. These are just few fragments that I have identified in this molecule for the sake of example. For example, this hydroxy group, methylene group, CH2OH and this benzene ring. And of course, there are many more fragments that you can get from this molecule. Next, in order to generate the fingerprints which are in the form of zeros and ones, you need to do hashing. Basically, it maps the fragments or features into a fixed size binary vector using a hash function. Hashing is a process that transforms the fragments into a binary fingerprint where each bit represents the presence or absence of a specific feature. So basically, if there is zero, that means the absence of that specific feature and if the value is one, that means the presence of that, that specific feature. Now the next big question is how this is achieved. Now let us suppose that we have an hypothetical fingerprint ABC which we want to calculate for this molecule. This ABC fingerprint has a set of 10 predefined structural keys. Each key represents a special structural feature or fragment in a molecule. In order to generate ABC fingerprint for this molecule, we have to compare the structural features present in this molecule to that listed in the pattern of this fingerprint. So this pattern is more of a rule book of this fingerprint for an, as an example, uh, for the first bit here to be on or off, in other words, to have a value of zero or one, we need to see if fluorine atom is present in this molecule or not since it's absent here so this bit will take the value of zero second pattern in the fingerprint deals with hydroxy group since hydroxy group is present in the molecule the second bit will be on or have a value of one similarly all the groups are compared to the features or groups in the molecule and zeros and ones are generated depending upon their presence or absence. But you don't need to do all these. There are algorithms out there which will do the job for you. So let me take you to the Google Colab notebook and show you how it works. We will start off by installing RDKit followed by importing various libraries such as Pandas and NumPy and importing various important modules from RDKit. So let's go ahead and do that. Next, I am going to be reading an Excel file which contains names and smile strings of 100 alcohol molecules. Let me read this file and have a look at the first five data points in this Excel file. Now you can see that we have two columns here. The first column contains the names of the molecule. The second column contains the smile strings corresponding to these molecules. Now, in order to generate molecular fingerprints, we need to convert these smiles into molecular objects. We can easily do that using pandas tools dot add molecule column to frame method, which takes in smiles as an argument and would append the column containing mole, which contains the molecular object 
to our data frame. Let's run this command and have a look at the first five data points. So now we have a new data frame which contains names, smiles as well as molecular objects. In order to visualize these, I am using draw.moles to grid image method of rdkit which takes in arguments as panda series and here I am printing just the first 16 molecules in a data set. So you can see all the 16 molecules have been printed in the form of grid. The first fingerprint that I am discussing here is Macas keys. It is a set of 166 predefined structural keys. Now in order to generate Macas keys, I am using this gen Macas keys function which would take in argument as the molecular object. In here, I am just generating the Macas keys for a single molecule which is at the fifth position called benzyl alcohol. The output will be stored in the form of a bit vector. So let me run this and show you how this bit vector object looks like. Now this is how the bit vector would look like and uh, in order to uh, visualize the fingerprint we need to convert this into numpy array. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Now this numpy array would provide us the output in the form of zeros and ones. Let's go ahead and see this. Now you can see here we have a list of zeros and ones. In order to visualize it more appropriately, I am converting this into a data frame. So now we have a data frame which contains the Macas keys for benzyl alcohol molecule. Now in the in the beginning I told you that Macas keys is a set of 166 predefined structural keys but here you can see the length of columns as 167. This is because in RD kit the indexing starts at 0 therefore bit 0 consistently remains unset and can be disregarded. Only bits 1 to 166 are utilized and set accordingly. Now I'm gonna be counting the number of bits using the counter function. So in the output you can see we have 157 zeros and 10 ones. Now if you want to print the position of on bits or the bits which have value 0, you can do that with the help of dot get on bits method on this object. So as you can see here the bits which are on are at the position 82, 109 and 139 and so on. Next if you are wondering for what structural features bits at these positions are on, let me take you to the official documentation of Macas keys on RDKit page but before that just let me print out the molecule. So this is the molecule that we are studying. So let's go to the official documentation. So we are at a page where the pattern for Macas keys is listed. Here you can see that this is the pattern corresponding to the MDL Macas keys. Now since this fingerprint has a set of 166 predefined structural keys, each key represents a special structural feature or fragment in a molecule. Since the bit is on, on 82nd position in our benzyl alcohol. So now let's go to the 82nd position. Here you can see the bit is turned on due to the presence of CH2 group which is present in our molecule. Similarly the bit is turned on at 139th position. So let's go to the 139th index. Here you can see this position deals with the presence or absence of OH and we do have OH functionality as a result of which it is present in our fingerprint. Similarly the bit is on at 162, 163, 4 and 5 position. Uh, so let's just go do a quick review of that. At 162 we have aromatic group. At 163 we have 6 member ring. 164 we need to have oxygen at, at 165 we need to have a ring for these bits to be on and we have all of these substructures in our molecule. Now let's talk a bit about Morgan fingerprint. I have already talked in detail about all these fingerprints that I'm discussing here uh, in, a, in my previous video so if you haven't watched that video I'm, I'm gonna be providing you that link in the description below so don't forget to check that out. 
for calculating Morgan fingerprint, I am using this function over here, all cam dot get Morgan fingerprint as bit vector, which would take molecular object as an argument. Along with that, we have two more parameters, radius and number of bits. Number of bits is equal to basically the length of the bits and you can have the length as 512, 1024, 2048 or 4096. Uh, I'm storing that bit information in the form of a variable called pi, which I have created over here. The concept of radius can be a little tricky to understand, but I will try to explain it with the help of benzyl alcohol for which we are calculating this Morgan fingerprint. In Morgan fingerprint, the fingerprint generation starts by considering each atom in the molecule. The algorithm then explores the atoms in the neighborhood of each central atom up to a specified radius. Now let us just suppose the radius is 1 here. Then it will capture the information of atoms which are one bond apart. So let us just suppose this is the central atom here. So it will capture the information of this methylene carbon and these two orthocarbons. Whereas if the radius is 2, the algorithm will consider circular substructures that extend up to two bonds away from the central atom. This includes the immediate neighbors, which I just told you, and their neighbors. So when radius is 2, we are also including this oxygen, which is two bonds uh, away, and these meta carbons as well. So let me just run this command and store Morgan fingerprint in the form of a bit vector with variable name mf underscore bb. Let's have a look at our object. So this is an explicit bit vector object which we have stored in this variable. Now in order to visualize this fingerprint in the form of zeros and one and in order to count the number of zeros and ones, I am just converting it into a numpy array followed by using this counter function on it. So we have 2034 zeros and 14 ones. Now if you want to print the positions of on bits, I am using dot get, dot get on bits function here. So let's run this. So these are the positions where the bits have a value of 1 or bits are on. In Morgan fingerprint, there is an interesting way to visualize the structural features corresponding to a particular bit. So what I am doing here is using draw dot draw Morgan bit function which takes arguments as a molecular object along with a bit id. Uh, bit id is equal to the position of the bit for which we want to uh, know the structural feature. For example, I want to know the structural feature corresponding to 1 at bit position 807 so I'm just typing in 807 and you can see that this position at 807 has a value of 1 because of this oxygen. Now uh, there is another way you can visualize all the structure features which are, co which are contributing to uh, bit value equal to 1 using uh, this command here. Uh, so let me just run this real quick. So you can see the all the structural features or uh, subgroups or substructures have been listed here along with their corresponding positions where the bit value is 1. So that is all for fingerprints now. In the next video we will talking more about these. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.